What if you could take anybody's face and use it as your own in real time without any kind of advanced technical knowledge in the area of artificial intelligence or elsewhere? A revolutionary kind of software has just been released which can generate deepfakes of any person for you to use during live streams, YouTube videos or Zoom calls. And the best part of it, is that it's completely free to use and even open source so that it can be improved at a rapid pace by anyone who is fluent in programming. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you this awesome new kind of technology, which just a few years ago required a high-end computer generating deepfakes in a few hours, to now being able to be run in real time, how and where you can use it, and finally, what the ability of creating convincing deepfakes means for the future of society in which everyone is able to create their own. A new deepfake tool will allow users to modify their look in real time during live video feeds, introducing a slew of new possibilities for the disputed technology. Deepface Live is an open-source application that was launched last month on the code hosting site GitHub that allows users to overlay another face over their own while using video messaging apps like Skype and Zoom. Deepface Live's inventor, a mysterious Russian developer identified online as iPara, initially released footage of the tool's UI in late April on a deepfake forum. iParav is also one of the primary developers of Deepface Lab, the most commonly used open-source tool for producing deepfakes. Deepface Live, which is available for Windows 10, works by leveraging the same datasets of celebrity faces that are previously used to produce deepfake movies. Deepface Live, like Snapchat's Snap Camera, allows users to apply face filters through their webcams and can be used in tandem with most video-based streaming and messaging services. Deepface Live's face swapping feature may also be used on previously recorded movies. While it is still in its early phases, a tiny number of committed artists are already using it. A TikToker from Russia, for example, recently demonstrated the program by changing himself into Arnold Schwarzenegger while utilizing a randomized video chatting service. Another Russian YouTube producer, Vladislav Pedro, who now runs a Telegram channel that provides deepfake lessons and other videos, stated that some artists have already begun utilizing Deepface Live on platforms such as the video game streaming site Twitch. What can I say about this program? Deepface Live has a great deal of promise. This program is suitable for both streamers and developers of various types of media material. However, Pedro warned that the technology will almost certainly be utilized by criminals as well. Users on the Russian social networking site VK have postulated several use cases for Deepface Live connected to fraud, according to freelance writer and deepfake expert Martin Anderson. Unsurprisingly, Deepface Live has piqued the interest of people who make non-consensual deepfake explicit videos. Such films, which digitally replace celebrity faces with those of explicit film stars, continue to be the most frequent application of deepfake technology, accounting for 96% of all deepfake videos online. iParav has long embraced the link between the two, even going so far as to designate a renowned deepfake explicit website as a sanctioned forum for deepface live conversations. Deepface Live's initial facial dataset is also that of Hollywood actress Margot Robbie, one of the most popular personalities among mature deepfake makers. According to Henry Ader, a synthetic media specialist at Metaphysic.ai, while Deepface Live is far from flawless, it has swiftly become the obvious leader for live deepfakes in terms of realism and usefulness. But, like many ethical deepfake developers, Ader is concerned that Deepface Live may be used by criminals. Users on deepfake forums have even pondered the idea of using the technology to turn webcam-based workers into their client's favorite celebrity. Many people may perceive Deepface Live as a fun tool for Twitch live streaming or crazy TikTok videos, but my research on deepfakes has constantly revealed that many others will want to exploit it. This might include adult streamers impersonating celebrities' faces without their permission, as well as biometric spoofing, such as tricking facial recognition and liveness detection algorithms. Ader goes on to say that, while efforts to strangle technology's creative potential should be resisted, major issues remain about how society will be influenced as increasingly complex and simple-to-use tools become available. Fake videos of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, and Game of Thrones figure Jon Snow went viral in 2019 and elicited comments from some of the world's most prominent individuals. 
the technique of manipulation, as well as deep faking as a pastime, seems to be promoted by explicit videos, in which members of specific online groups would replace famous faces with those seen in explicit videos. Following prior warnings in 2017 about the first deepfake movement, the nightmare scenario has now become a reality, with some of the world's most powerful individuals and their audiences becoming targets of deepfakers. This is how deepfakes became ubiquitous, as well as a look at what's really at risk when it comes to the rise of fake video. Deepfakes, as they are now known, first came to light in December 2017, when Vice's Samantha Cole wrote a story for Motherboard about eye-manipulated erotica that purported to include Wonder Woman actress Gal Gadot. Deepfakes, a prolific Reddit user who uploaded a series of fake explicit celebrity films and was the topic of the Vice article, gave the videos their distinctive name. The videos were noteworthy because they were the first time a single individual was able to simply and rapidly make high-quality, convincing false videos. They utilized open-source machine learning technologies like TensorFlow, which Google makes freely available to academics, graduate students, and anybody with an interest in machine learning, according to Cole, who talked to deepfakes. Deepfakes may also differ in quality from past attempts to superimpose faces onto other bodies. An excellent deepfake has been specially built for its context by AI that has been trained on hours of film, with smooth mouth and head motions and suitable coloring. Simply superimposing a head onto a body and manually animating it might result in dead context mismatches. The films aroused debate regarding the technology's possible future applications and its ethics. The problem of permission was immediately at hand. More concerning was the possibility of blackmail and the use of technology against people in power. A team of academics at the University of Washington made waves in 2017 months before explicit deepfakes appeared when they published a video of a computer-generated Barack Obama speaking from old audio or video recordings. The hazards of disinformation disseminated were obvious at the time, but they appeared far away given that the films were created by academic experts. Fake app, a desktop program for deepfake generation, became available for download in January 2018 shortly after the explicit deepfakes appeared. The program was created by a Reddit user named Deepfake App and utilized Google's TensorFlow framework, the same technology used by Reddit user Deepfakes. The freely accessible technology aided the growth of the dedicated Deepfakes subreddit that sprang up in the aftermath of the initial Deepfakes Vice article. Those who utilized the program, which was linked to and described in the subreddit, posted their own creations and commented on those of others. The majority of it was allegedly explicit videos, while some films were lighter in tone, containing random movie clips with the actor's face replaced with Nicolas Cage's. In late January 2018, Vice published a follow-up story citing examples of deepfakes created using the faces of people they supposedly knew from high school or other locations, as well as possible revenge videos. Because the films were mashups rather than genuine recordings of real persons, the explicit videos appeared to be in a murky area under revenge videos regulations. The detected postings were discovered on Reddit and the Discord chat app. Following the disclosure, many networks, including Twitter, Discord, Gafikat, expressly prohibited deepfakes and related communities. Gafikat, in instance, claimed that it will be employing AI detection technologies to proactively regulate deepfakes. Experts believe that technologies designed particularly to identify deepfakes are flawed. Sawei Liu of the State University of New York at Albany told MIT Tech Review that DARPA-funded technology created by his team may detect deepfakes by detecting the lack of blinks on the eyes in deepfake movies, because blinking faces aren't always included in training datasets. Liu said that if images of blinking figures were eventually included in AI training, the system would be rendered worthless. Other teams based on DARPA's project are attempting to identify deepfakes using similar indicators, such as head movements, but each time the inner workings of detection technologies are exposed, forgers gain another step toward avoiding detection. While the technology poses a threat on several fronts, it may also be utilized legally for satire, humor, art, and commentary. As platforms deal with problems of consent, free expression, and limiting the spread of disinformation, the conundrum is bound to grow. So what is your opinion on the barrier of entry being lowered this dramatically in such a controversial field? 
Should deepfakes be accessible to everyone even if that would mean that the amount of crimes would increase, or should it only be accessible to people with large amount of money? What do you think of possible regulations from governments? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.